Welcome back to another edition of Navigate Your Dairy. Today we're going to talk about AI technique and actually uh, understanding what you're doing manipulating the body parts of carrying out the insemination. We're going to start here with I've got an artificial cervix and an AI gun. Um, first, we're going to talk about understanding the cervix. We recommend watching uh, preceding videos of anatomy and physiology and the hormone cycles prior to proceeding at this point. When you watch those, uh, you should already have a good understanding of the cervix acting as your primary landmark. The cervix is made up of three or four folds or annular rings inside. The real trick of learning how to inseminate cattle is learning how to master and maneuver this body part. Uh, beginners want to thread the AI gun through the cervix. We train that you should place the cervix and maneuver it and place it over top of the rod. As we start in, you have to work the cervix, bending and maneuvering, until it works through each of the folds or annular rings. You will hit some dead spots as you're bending and maneuvering and, and manipulating the cervix, placing it over top of the rod. Sometimes you have to back up to go forward, but ultimately you're trying to get the cervix uh, placed over the rod and the rod out the other end. One of the real tricks about um, this transitional process is we're using this clear sleeve here to act as the vaginal canal. As the vaginal canal um, transitions to the cervix, it creates what is defined or known as the fornix. As we get to this area, we end up with the uh, rod naturally falling into this fornix or the dead opening around the start of the cervical os or the opening of the cervix. So naturally as the gun gets up here, it's easy to hit these blind pockets. Ultimately, when we inseminate the animal, our goal is to try to minimize those dead pockets maximizing surface area to the cervical os and getting started into that process. From there, just as we just illustrated, it's all about placing the cervix over top of the AI gun and getting the AI uh, tip out the other end and into the start of the uterine body. So today we've got set up this artificial three-dimensional cow. Um, we're gonna talk through the process kind of from start to finish so we'd approach the animal, we'd have some um, lube that we'd present to the rectum. From there we'd present our palpation hand, which is naturally your left hand. And then we expose the AI rod. We insert upwards at a 45 degree angle. And then as we start threading through the vaginal canal, we level that rod as we uh, proceed forward. From here, the AI gun will only go so far because we're going to hit the start of the cervix. It's at that point that we'll begin using our palpation hand to proceed forward, identify that cervix. The cervix is a little bit more densely populated tissue, almost has the consistency of a hot dog. It will bend, it will maneuver, it's a little bit spongy. Ultimately, like we just talked about, we're trying to minimize that uh, surface area to the fornix that dead spot and we're going to try to start getting the rod uh, entered in the cervix. Once we've be begun into the cervical opening, everything is really done, as I just mentioned, placing the cervix over top of the gun, not trying to force the AI rod uh, through the cervix. So we're bending, we're manipulating, uh, and we're not forcing, we're just letting the gun proceed naturally forward. If we're successful, our placement of hand will change at this point, which I currently have cradled. We spin our hand to the top, and in this video, I'll exaggerate a little bit. I can feel the end of the cervix here in this densely populated tissue. Our goal is, you can see the tip, be beyond the end of the cervix. Our tip is here, and our goal is to be prior to the split of the horn. So I would palpate, making sure that I'm prior to the split, but past the cervix. That area right here that I'm illustrating is talked about as the uterine body. It's really a void or an empty part of the uterus, and that's naturally what we define as the site of semen deposition or where we want you depositing sperm. So we verify with our hands very gently as this is a thin walled tissue. Um, if we're comfortable with placement, we raise our fingers and then we slowly deposit the plunger. 
We'd remove our AI gun. We check for any abnormalities or uh, infections, blood or anything like that. And at that point, we've completed our task.